So we're about to set off on a 1200 mile journey from Ravenshead where we are now back to Bro Brolog in Croatia which is my grandfather's home village um, in memory and, and in aid of uh, the Alzheimer's Society. Oh, uh, to be honest with you, we've tried to do it with, while taking it seriously, as little preparation as possible, you know, we're about to walk off from here, we don't know where the first lift will get or take us and that could have a big, uh, uh, big impact on the entire trip, so not a whole lot of planning and therefore we anticipate a lot of challenges, i.e. my bag's just broke and we're not even started yet. <laughs> Uh, but we don't know exactly what they're going to be yet, so it'll play it, it'll play it by ear. The reason we're doing the trip is my grandfather escaped his home village of, of Brolog in Yugoslavia during the Second World War under gunfire and basically got chased out and left his family behind. So he literally would have picked up what he could and ran. Um, so we're trying to replicate as best we can. We've got backpacks, um, we've got 20 pounds each, uh, and, and we're going to be making our way there. So we're going to be hitchhiking, we're going to be trying to talk our way onto things and basically using the two lessons that he, he really harped on about, really hard work and initiative. Do you, what, would, what would your granddad have thought? But this, well, we've spoke about it, we're not really 100% sure. I think, first of all, we think we were mad, because when he did it, he wasn't sat there doing it for a charity or anything like that, he was doing it for survival. Um, I think the thought of two people going and doing it for fun or for something, or for fun and to raise money for charity, I think you think it was crazy. But I think that side, he'd be really, really proud, I think, especially when he started to appreciate it was in aid of him and for such a good cause. So, yeah, I think mixed emotions, but larger positive. I think that the big difference between what we're doing, what my granddad's doing, we're doing, we're calling it Papa's journey, we're retracing his steps. We've got an end point, we come back, we go back to our lives, we go back to our jobs, our loved ones. When my grandfather left at just 14 years old, leaving behind his mum and his sisters, you know, he didn't know what was around the next corner. When he arrived here, it wasn't the end point, he was coming to nothing. So I think that's the big difference, but we're doing it to honour him and obviously raise money for the Alzheimer's Society, which sadly he ended up suffering from in his dying years.